my hands steady. I feel ready, but my legs heavy. I don't get it. How come I haven't hit it already? So, as a matter of fact, here is some spoilers. I should have. Hello. I think right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Give me a sec. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, so Goki something. Gamer is on on live right now, so I'm shutting him up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, I got I got you. Uh, geez, Anyways, got we are here to um, the Joki podcast with the one and only Goki Gamer. Wait, you are know? we live? I I I, I mean, I, I don't know. I thought we were live. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, that, that's I the Joki podcast for you guys. That is the Joki. <laughs> Where everything is confusing, you don't even know where we're at. See, I see, I, I can't tell if Gio is being serious or not because he always does this to me. It annoys me. <laughs> no, I'm mad. serious. I'm serious. I'm serious as you can get. You're that serious? You're live right now? <laughs> no, you're not. I, you're I'm live. recording. I, I don't care. Oh, you're well, okay. You're recording. Okay, there's a difference between being recording and being live. I'm not even ready. Ah! No, so wait, I, this doing, is live doing, though. We're doing. That we're doing. I'm good. Okay, wait. <laughs> Are we live or are we recording or both? I'm confused. It's all three. Gosh dang it, Jim. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is right, hilarious. Well, hold on a second. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. You already know how long Goki Gamer takes to record stuff. It ain't me. I was ready. I I'm always on now. time. I'm always on time. Oh, As a matter of on. fact. Keep your mouth shut. You know. Um, if you look at my Discord messages, I'm being like, okay, so we're gonna discuss whether we're using face cam or not, and all that fun stuff. So I didn't want to set all that stuff up. And here we go. And you're saying we're live now, and I'm like, what the prank are we doing? I thought we were doing face cam. Why you know? will my light turn on? My light must be busted. That is fantastic news for me. Wait, hey. could you see me on your side? Yeah, I can. Oh, that's what's. Am I freezing up? Am I freezing oh, up? Oh, 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 damn, and damn, damn, I damn. have a busted light. That is going to be great to replace. Okay. Wait, you, uh, you, you here. killed your light? light real fast, since we're just going to go ahead and go live right now, apparently. And I'll need to send my recording stuff. Kelly B, get your butt in here. Oh, man. Like that is SMH. SMH. I'm always on time. Now I'm just playing. I don't know if I'm included this in the podcast, the Joki podcast. I really don't know. But hey, I mean, it's 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 decent enough. I wonder how loud. Excuse me, bud. There we go. Um, I can't even hear myself. That's your water. Oh my god. For some reason, this light's not going to turn on. So that's great news for me. Hopefully, this is a podcast that I could actually upload. <laughs> that's a good question, I must say. <laughs> that is. Yeah. That is the question. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can freaking make this life work. Because if not, that's going to be great. Do oh, that. there we go. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. I feel like. It works. My... Sweet. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm probably going to have to get it replaced, though. So that sucks. But hey, what can you do? Johnny, give me Shout out to cheap earphones. Kennedy! Hey, how about you keep your mouth shut? <laughs> What do you mean? Stop talking about. Wait, were you talking about your headphones or were you talking about my, my earphones? Uh, my oh, other ones died off right and now. I got easily offended. Okay then, um, it's 2019. People get offended easily, right? Uh, that's that's the law. That 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 is the law. That is the law. People get offended easily. <laughs> that, that is. Alrighty, let's see. Let me get my face cam recording here. No, that's not my. That's not what. I, that's that's definitely not what I want. Here we go. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's flop over here. There we go. That's hey, Jelly Bean. Love you. All right, let's see here. Uh, just let's see here. I want. Oh Stop my! Stop licking my fingers. That's weird. Stop that, Jelly Bean. Stop that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and capture my cursor. So, okay. Chicken Start waffles. Start recording. Chicken waffles. Maybe I should record my audio. Maybe, 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 maybe you shouldn't record anything. I'm no, just kidding. Maybe you should keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. You're recording. Okay, let me get Audacity up. Yo, YouTube on. child. Recording. Okay. Papa. Let's see here. I'm going to mute you real fast. Right. Ba, 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 da, I guess ba, I'm not ba. entering this part of the entry, you know? Oh, well. Ah, ah, jelly bean! No! Stop! Don't do that! Important do that. update for all of y'all. 
Okay. If you create content what for you- What up, little dogs? My name is Coach Gamer, and welcome to this crazy podcast stream. We are live. We are here. We are just- Live? Jumping straight into it. Hi, Gio. What's Wait, up? Wait, we're actually live? Like- yeah, we're we're doing this. We're doing this. You did it to me. I'm doing it to you. Wait, we're live. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Like YouTube live? Like live stream? We we are we are recording. We are recording. Oh, we're okay. Because you said we're live. He's adorbs. Say hi, Jasmine. Say hi to the podcast. Hello. I need oh, a bath. Wow. Don't push the keyboard off. That would be recommended. And this is. There we go. Wait, I, I was about to refer to myself as Jokey. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> know what what nice. was going through my head. <laughs> It, welcome to the nice. Jokey Podcast. Let me let me double check, make sure everything's recording. Yes, everything's recording. This is the Jokey yes, Podcast. As simple as that. Yas. 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 This is truth. Okay. And let me. I keep being paranoid. That I'm not recording because I hate that feeling. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Papa, greatness. Exactly. Minecraft, Pokemon, everything's going to heck. Yeah, that's some dramaticness. <laughs> Oh my and god. I've actually got a list of stuff that I want to talk about up here too, such as um, a couple videos, a whole bunch of videos talking about this topic, mm. and some uh, pages coming just pulled up about all this fun stuff. So, yeah. There's a lot of things. What do you want to talk about first, Gio? What do you want to what what what, what, see here? Uh, the COPPA stuff. It is annoying it, as all get it's out. It's just confusing in uh. general about COPPA. It's just in general. Yeah. Both you and I have been talking about this for quite a long time, and it's just. It's just annoying, man. I it's just uh Yeah, even though this sucks. was like announced back in 2015, even farther back than that about Kappa. It was 20 the the law was revised in 2013 and um YouTube was like, "Oh, well, that doesn't involve us since we are a 13 and up channel." But then they basically what they did is they messed up big time and they said, "Oh, we're like the number one platform for kids." Mm -hmm. It's like 93% of tweens spend their time on YouTube or whatever the crap. And so the FCC found out, and because of that, yeah. they fined YouTube $170 million. And actually doing a bit more research into this just now, yeah. um, if YouTube had kept their mouths shut and just played dumb and been like, oh, we didn't realize we were giving out content to, like, we were getting kids private information or whatever from the cop, from the advertisements and stuff like that for targeted ads well, and actually, stuff, then this would not have happened. Well, technically, literally, if they played dumb, this would not have happened. Well, technically, they're just so. gathering data from web cookies, meaning whatever you like. Yeah. Like, let's say, for example, I see two of Goki Gamer's YouTube videos. Technically, YouTube yes. converts all those times that I watched that video into a web cookie, which therefore goes to a database yeah. that it's all about YouTube business from there on. I'm not that familiar from yeah. that. Yeah, it's like it's like they take that information and then from that information they give you recommended videos based on thank you things you might want to watch. Like if you watch a lot of Pokemon content, then they're gonna recommend more Pokemon content for you. It's stuff like that. Actually, it's actually so, been proven. If you like slime videos, they're gonna recommend more slime videos. If they if you like more uh sportsy type videos, they're gonna recommend sportsy types of videos to you. So that's basically what that is. And then also they gather information for targeted ads. So like let's say you're watching somebody playing Pokemon and a Nintendo Switch ad comes on. That's ba that's a targeted ad, so that's what they get from information from when you click on your video. Actually, to so to make it even more YouTube. crazy, Goki, like if you shut down your browsers, yeah. like all your browsers, Google Chrome, Firefox, uh -huh. and whatever you, whatever you're using to Google or whatever, right? Yeah. If you close all those down and for like a minute or two, and you talk about mm -hmm. random puppies or something in general a lot and a lot, and you keep on repeating it, you go back to your yeah. Google Chrome browser search up anything randomly, doesn't matter what, you should technically get an advertisement about dogs, which is crazy. It's wow. been proven. That is crazy. It's been proven. I didn't realize that. that, that that's yeah, how crazy it is. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's insane. Mm -hmm. Wow. I didn't which is kind of confuses oh, yeah. me, though. So basically, YouTube wanted the fact that, um, oh, kids love our platform, and Coppola was like, hey, you're tar that means you're getting private information to do targeted ads and stuff with kids because... And basically what COPPA is to do is to protect kids from having like targeted ads and stuff like that since kids can't process yeah. the difference between ad and product. So like, like, do you know, like, Gio, um, mm -hmm. if you remember, like, and I'm certain like older adults can recognize about this too. I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I apologize. But yeah, ba way back in the day, like in the 19, I believe it was 60s or 70s, they used to do ads in the shows so like there's a famous one flintstones with the uh, marlboro cigarettes so <laughs> basically 
kids couldn't tell the difference between um, an ad and the actual show. So don't ask me how that works with all that um, marketing stuff. But basically, Coppa was like, this does not look good. We don't want this. So exactly. they basically made it. So that, that's not for television, but Coppa specifically for the internet. Mm -hmm. So, and again, if YouTube had played dumb and didn't say anything about the number one kids platform, even though we're for 13 and up, then this would not have happened. Hey, go get, so you YouTube should, messed up like big time here. Should I and they're still messing up too. We're going to talk about this too. Yeah, okay. And then my light just you died. Should, Great. Um, YouTube's just messing up all the time. I apologize. Maybe I should turn that light off because it's starting to flicker. I was going to tell you, you should Regardless, actually say yeah. what COPPA stands for. <laughs> Before, maybe people don't even know yeah, what that okay, is. Okay, so <laughs> true. Okay, so for those of you who don't even know what COPPA is, for those of you who have not been following me on Instagram or Twitter or following me ranting about this information, this crap, mm -hmm. COPPA is the um, COPPA stands for the Children's Online Privacy, Privacy Protection, Protection Act. Act. I can't believe I got that right first try. That is amazing. But <laughs> it took me a while to so, even figure it out. The rule, the law in and of itself has good intentions. Like, I agree with the law, I think it's a good mm -hmm. law. But again, the, the way it's being executed is just absolutely crappy. And I can't stand it. Like, it sucks. The entire, like, the, the way it's being executed just sucks. And the way YouTube's handling it is even worse. Yeah. It's so freaking bad. But we do have some good news about regarding Top Up. You know, we got some new information a few days ago, mm -hmm. which is huge. This is a big reason why we're making this video. Exactly. And, I mean, it's good and bad news. It's good news in terms of channels like me and geos who do pokemon stuff and the nintendo stuff mm -hmm. might not be targeted but on the other hand it shows that youtube is just keeping more information from us and they're being jerkwads mm -hmm. and they're not giving us actual information that we could use mm -hmm. so freak you youtube <laughs> uh geez this thing this thing the platform it, it's just a all, growing business great. it's just a growing business you know i that's mean yeah i mean yeah i agree but it's like it gets frustrating when youtube just this is on their content creators like they are right now because mm. basically their response they did have a response to the, uh, all this cop of stuff talking about um this law and stuff like that mm. and just talking i'm gonna pause this but like with this video they talk they literally say in this video get a lawyer basically they literally say we don't know if your content will fall under coppa get a lawyer which is Thanks, YouTube. Thanks for helping me out here. I can, I can definitely afford a lawyer, and I'm certain most small content creators like myself can afford a lawyer. Thank you for your consideration for us. We're not even getting ah. ad revenue from videos. Oh, just wait, just top it off. Oh out. my gosh! Yeah, and it's annoying. It's it's like okay mm. then, cool. And um, you see this guy right here. Um, I saw clips of the um, FTC's mm -hmm. meeting back in September talking about this. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if Gio, if you've seen any Which of it, one? but this guy right here, he's, <laughs> this is a very accurate picture <laughs> with devil horns and fire behind what, it. What, copper? Jeez, this man is crazy. So he basically uses the analogy in the video, which by the way, all links to like all this stuff right here will be down in the description below. Yeah. All the videos that I've researched and stuff like that, mm -hmm. as well as the FTC meeting itself. If you guys want to check it out, feel free to do so because... We could miss information because we're just a bunch of idiots. <laughs> and I recommend you check that out. Also, we're not lawyers. This is not legal advice whatsoever. We're, yeah. Just to get that clarified. So, this is just a podcast. Hey. This is just a podcast. Just exactly. To... It's a podcast talking about this. So do your own research, okay? Mm -hmm. Because this is very important. This, this is, and like, I'm not just saying this just because, you know, yeah. oh, whatever, you know. This is, yeah, this this is, is really important. Issue. And it could affect a bunch of channels. And we just don't know what's going to happen. Mm. Again, because the law is so vague with everything, it could be a terrible mm -hmm. situation for content creators. We don't know what's going to happen. So we're all just kind of twiddling our fingers, being like, we don't know what's going to happen. I, actually, no as a matter of fact, you know, going back when you. And YouTube's not helping us out at all with this situation. So that's the other annoying part. So I was going to tell you, like, going back to what you said about YouTube hiding stuff. So there was this video yeah. that was actually made by. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but his name is Eon is like Corzine. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. a lawyer. Um, right here, this one right here. Yeah. Um, I actually have it pulled up right here. Kappa Insider Update: What more, more YouTube is hiding, and it actually has a section basically mm -hmm. that says Kappa only covers information collected online from here. Actually, let me pull it up right here. Where is it? It is right here. Okay, so I have the I have it up right here. So 
if you guys want to go full screen, you can. Mm -hmm. I apologize ahead of time if you can't see because I don't know how to full screen this. Maybe if I do this, I don't know. No, that's not going to work. Okay, anyways. It says, COPPA only covers information collected online from, from children. It does not cover information collected from adults that may pertain to children. Thus, COPPA is not triggered by an adult uploading photos of children on a general audience site or in a non-child-directed portion of a mixed audience website. So basically, what that's talking about is if you make content for a general audience, if it's family-friendly, if it's not specifically targeted for kids, like let's say Sesame Street, that's um, but it's more like what my videos are. Like my videos are intended for a wide variety of audiences, you know, adults and kids. Mm -hmm. Then you are fine. You're not going to be affected by COPPA. The question is, the the main thing I'm worried about is with the FTC because it's obvious that they are extremely outdated with the internet. And I saw a video of somebody talking about like working with people like this, mm -hmm. and she said um, that's apparently some of these lawmakers don't even have cell phones. That's how bad the situation is. It's like they are so out of touch with the actual internet culture that it's like what's going to draw the line between general content and kids' content? Like my content, I do Pokemon videos, and I know adults love Pokemon, but will the FTC see it like that? We don't know. So that's – I'm still worried. So if you see me disappear, if you, you see all my videos are privated for some reason, then that first few days of 2020 – Because my boy don't want to pay 42 k per video. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Because it, but keep in mind, if if the FT, if you put your content as not for kids, and COPPA deems it it is for kids or the FTC, if they say, "Oh, you're wrong," you could get fined forty two thousand um, about forty two thousand dollars. Like forty two thousand five hundred and thirty dollars. I'm pretty sure that's correct per video. I can't afford even one forty like forty four thousand two hundred percent of that. I don't know. I can't even afford any of. I can't afford that. Okay, I am broke. I yeah no. There's no way I can afford. And this. actually, to even put it up to scale, if you multiply that number by twenty six, that forty two thousand, you already owe FTC already a million bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's insane. So and like again, for content for channels that have like over two hundred videos, like I do, I'm approaching three is actually it's scary it's really freaking scary <laughs> but then again and again it's like the laws are so vague the law in and of itself i need to find this law because the 10 rules it's so vague the 10 rules that it's yeah not well not even that i think it's the um, it's the serve it's the survey whatever the freaking the guide i can't remember where I, this guy i over can't here. remember where i found this it. guy over here but it's so vague it's so stupidly vague it's it's like but then again i kind of so do disgusting. understand by the way check out check out ian corzine's videos because they are really good game three also made a video about this recently mm -hmm. i very highly encourage you to check out this guy's videos links will be down in the description below go check it out because this is really important but then again i i'm trying to, i'm trying to find i'm trying to find where that oh, i was gonna wall, tell you that, that then again is. it's understandable why youtube doesn't Keep, it does keep it as vague as possible because then again if they do provide legal advice then yeah. technically if someone doesn't follow the rules and they say oh youtube did this or youtube told me to do this or follow these type of regulations then technically the content yeah. creators could sue youtube and as a business i wouldn't want to get screwed by my own people <laughs> at the same time exactly i would understand yeah. that too and again it's this is so stupid because it's like i'm trying i'm trying to find the section mm -hmm. where it like has some of these ridiculous regulations mm -hmm. um if if it's in here it might even the in here, but... ftc has their own on their own website which one of them yeah which one of them says that the i think it was considered the animation also something about considering the animation and the age of yeah. the models so if there's kids yeah. present, yeah, exactly technically that. it's and a it's child. So stupid. Here video. we go. Game theory. I, I think it shows in this video. I need to I need to look. Um I am sorry guys for just scrolling around all over the place. But, but there's like a lot find, of information find, with it's it's impossible with to try and find it on the, the COPPA website. I tried, I couldn't find it. So let me let me just see if I can find it. Again, Game Theory made a great video about this. Go check it out um because i was seeing it like a lot of he sums it up really well a lot of people talking about like coppa like if you guys don't know who adala smash is uh you know who shitty penguin is they've been talking about yeah. it pewdiepie was even yeah, talking, talking about, about it. it there's a bunch of channels that are considering yeah. the situation of this of how stupid this all is 
and like how vague yeah. they're being with it. Like even the yeah, even the type of language so you talk stupid. with, like saying "do" or like saying yeah. those type of words, it's considered exactly. A that's child what, that's video. what I was talking about. It's it's so it's so vague um, that it's so stupid. Here, here's a list right here, a little bit. Even it saying says, the like, word "cool," content that content that could be that content that could be, you know, uh, accountable with this law, intentionally aimed at kids. Okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Includes characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children, including animated characters or cartoon figures. Like that's a whole bunch of stuff that's for general audiences, not just for kids. Like Pokemon is a very good example of that. It has animated char characters and cartoon figures, but it's not just for kids, it's for a general audience. That's how vague this rule is, and that's why it sucks. Has a predominantly child audience. Again, yeah. Pokemon probably has a predominantly child audience. And then contains activities that appeal to children. Obviously, Pokemon is a big part of that. Actually, see And yeah, like Pokemon, animation, things like that. It's it's so it's so terrible. Like it's it like just absolutely sucks. And I was gonna say, so and... you know how you said about not having any type of figurines in the video or any type of toys yeah. related? Like, I basically hey, buy all this stuff. Over exactly. Here. Like my whole entire room is made up of toys. Yeah, I know. It's <sighs> So that means I can't even do face cam at that point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't either. Or I'd have to get rid of all my stuff. Or get a green screen. Well not get rid of it, but you get it off the camera, you guys get it. Let's see here. Where is that freaking where is the freaking rules let's try rules maybe it's in the rules section i don't know what about the youtube uh, one? i'm trying i'm trying to find where the ftc was talking about like this is what we want here okay let's see here let me just try because i think it was like survey or something like that um stop that hmm. stop moving uh let's see here okay never mind that wasn't it i can't i can't find it i should have looked this up before now i didn't even think of it but yeah mm -hmm. basically what again what gia was talking about earlier was even it says on the ftc website if you look if you look for it and it, it's also shown in a bunch of the videos that i'm linking down in the description below mm -hmm. that content that has things like cartoon figures things that literally sports and stories is part of it it's really ridiculous and like fantasy um uh kid celebrities things like that it's that it, they could fall under the copper rule which targets almost everything on youtube when you think about it it really and it even does. targets videos even tar technically it targets like horror videos right oh they have kids celebrities in them probably you guys get what i'm saying here you know yeah and it's like it's like cartoon figures so what about family guy rick and morty's the simpsons uh uh mr pickles all that all those cartoons are cartoons, but they're for adults. And actually, but they fall under the common rule. Actually, to me, make it even worse. Even having bright colors in the video is considered for kids. So you can't exactly, have colors like yeah. yellow, pink. I think it was like pink one was one of them. Yeah, it's Green. so it's so ridiculous. And um, have you? Gee, I don't know. Have you seen the has been? The which one? By any chance, has been hotel. The uh, it's so what has been hotel is it's an animated. It's an it's like an animated cartoon. Mm -hmm. Um. That's like 31 minutes long. Uh, if you're an adult and you don't mind adult humor or jokes or swearing and stuff like that, go check it out. It's awesome. I love it. Mm -hmm. But that has bright colors in it, but it's definitely, <laughs> definitely not meant for kids. But that could fall into the cop of law because bright colors. Now, again, thankfully, good news. Recently, we found out from some YouTubers and doing our own research, again, with the information I just told you, um, earlier, earlier in this in this talk, mm -hmm. um, the COPPA law does not does is not intended for general audiences. Exactly, it's only intended for kids specific. Like if it has a primary kid audience, or if it's aimed specifically for kids, that's when the COPPA law is is applied. So channels like that do toy unboxings or things like that that are definitely aimed for kids are still going to be screwed, but. Crossing fingers, hopefully, the FTC is smart enough to realize that channels like mine and Geo's are meant for a general audience mm -hmm. and not just something that kids under 13 can enjoy. Hope That's what we're hoping for. And I do have a positive outlook on it. I do think COPPA is going to realize that and they're going to back off our case. I'm really hoping that's going to be the case. But then the... Um, when... If not... We're gonna have problems. So then, when you talk about general audience, it, at that point, it's not even the FTC anymore. It's all about YouTube at that point, because now yeah. YouTube is forcing us to make our videos either 
for kids or not for kids. Not and it doesn't have anything yeah. in between saying, oh, it's for a general audience. It ha doesn't even have that option. Yeah, exactly. That's what sucks. And originally, the way YouTube presented it to us, it's like, okay, either your content is not for kids or it is for kids, mm -hmm. and you're screwed either or. So a lot of us were left in the gray area. I, I'd probably say a good like 75% of YouTubers on this platform, at a minimum, would fall into this into the gray area where it's like, well, I don't target kids specifically, mm -hmm. but my content could be for kids. So where do I fall? Thankfully, this COPPA, real, um, thankfully, when people actually did research on it and actually had time to do research on it. Okay, bye, Jelly Bean, love you. Love. <laughs> um, when people did actually did research on it, they discovered, oh wait, COPPA doesn't actually attack general audiences. Well, now everybody's going to be mad at YouTube because YouTube basically told us lies and they're not giving us an option to be like, hey, we're for a general audience. I think it, probably part of the reason is because they don't want to risk getting sued again because people might just click, oh, this is for a general audience. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, the whole situation is weird. And technically, um, listening to a couple videos, we shouldn't, the content creator shouldn't be the one getting sued. It should be YouTube because YouTube's the one who's correcting, the, who's collecting all the data of the kids, not us. So this whole situation is just crappy, uh, but thankfully, I think most channels are going to be safe. I think it's only going to be channels that are obviously directed to kid, towards kids yeah. that are going to be targeted. That's what I'm hoping for. But then, crossing fingers. But then, even if that is a situation, then YouTube has a, 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 I think they're called robots or whatever. They're called AIs, right? Yeah. They're gonna be scrolling yeah, through bots. everybody's YouTube videos and declaring if it's considered not for kids or it is for kids. So it means at yeah. the end, and we all know it how matter. accurate the YouTube bots are. Yeah, exactly. So, and on top of that, the FTC mm -hmm. has said multiple times in the FTC meeting that on the thinking down below that they're going to do a sweep of youtube like that's just fact they're going to sweep youtube they're going to go over like they quote their quotes not mine they're going to go through all the 23 million channels to find content that is meant for kids and target those channels well obviously there's not going to be a person on there doing that job it's going to be bots and you know who knows how bad the government bots are going to be let, like the YouTube bots are bad enough. Who knows how the government and bots actually, are going to be. we're talking Low about government, government bot, technology that, bots that don't have much cost or whatever. It's, it's... so behind. I was gonna say exactly. And, uh -huh. Obviously, again, obviously with the COPPA rule, it hasn't. They updated it in 2013. They didn't really update the requirements for it though. Mm -hmm. The requirements are still like it was back in the 1990s. back in its beta when the internet was just a little baby. Exactly. Back when it was just yeah, still so in the infant the... stage. Oh jeez. Yeah, exactly. So what needs to happen is the COPPA rule needs to be updated so that it, it makes it extremely specific with its requirements for kids' content, mm -hmm. not just vague things like stories and sports and cartoon characters and video games. You know, again, video games. So like Doom, um, name some more, adult, Mortal Kombat. What else? Um, <laughs> this is what I can think of off the top of my head. Bayonetta is another one. Um Red Dead Redemption, uh, Grand Theft Auto, all these, all these video, all these video games could be labeled as kids in the COPPA rule as it stands right now. Exactly. So what they need to do is they need to specifically say this type of video game, like educational video games. Okay, I can see that. Like if it's video games, like um, fun fact, when I so while I've been homeschooled, my mom would get us video game video games for like the PC. It was like on a disc. We would insert the disc, we would play the game, but it was educational. So it had like math problems for you to solve to get to the next level or something like that. That's how I learned to like type, for example, mm -hmm. through a online or well, for, through like a video game, I should say. Mm -hmm. So those types of content, I can get that. I can understand why that content would be targeted since it is specifically for kids. Mm -hmm. But what about Pokemon that's just meant for a general audience? You know, they need to specify specifically for kids in this age group. Let alone and Mario. No, like, no question. Yeah, Mario, exactly. That's another one. Zelda. All kinds of stuff. So, they need to be a lot more specific with this law. So, another link I'll be leaving down below is a link to their official website, which I actually have pulled up where you can um, basically comment on this survey type thing. And you have to comment before December 9th. But basically, be civil, be civil, 
<laughs> that's important. <laughs> Be civil with your replies, but you can reply and say what you think about this law, what you think needs to be changed, and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. I very highly encourage you guys to do this because as the law is right now, it's 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 so bad. It just targets everything on YouTube pretty much. It needs to be changed and it needs to be more specific. Exactly. So it if we don't go changed, out so. and like let our voices be heard, don't think that yeah. moving to like Twitch or moving to another platform is going to solve the issue. It's not. It's not. If you don't That's stop it here. Well. I want people to know exactly. this. This is not true. The COPPA law is a government law. It's not just YouTube being like, oh, copy. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> it's a lot worse. This is a government law. So this is going to target all of the internet, not just YouTube. Exactly. So it's going to target Twitch. It's going to be on Mixer. It's going to be even on like the smallest platforms that you could possibly go on. <laughs> that's, that's why it's important to have this law changed and updated. Mm -hmm. Again, the COPPA law as an, like, as an idea, it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. That's what I think about it. I think it's a great idea to protect kids' private information. Obviously, mm -hmm. yes. And that's even that to top it off, good. we do have but the YouTube way it kids. is right now. It's terrible. Sorry, well, uh, yeah, and YouTube Kids is a thing as well, which to an extent, I understand. I saw some comments apparently, all that's on YouTube Kids is like nursery rhymes and stuff like that. So, stuff that wouldn't be entertaining to like say a 10 year old. Mm -hmm. There's not really anything on YouTube Kids to entertain like a 10 year old, mm -hmm. which is again kind of a problem. So, but then actually, those, again, the situation. It's so gray. It needs to be. It needs to be a lot more black and white for it to work. Otherwise, this COPPA law is just going to destroy YouTube as it is right now if it's not specified and if the and if the FTC goes overboard with exactly. it. Exactly. If the FTC goes overboard and starts targeting channels right and left, YouTube is going to die out. It is. Like that's just guaranteed. So then it and heck, YouTube's already losing people just because of the fact that you know. Again, with this new inform even with this new information out that says, oh, this does not, the COPPA law does not apply to content aimed towards a general audience. YouTube hid that from, they, YouTube didn't say anything about that to us. I don't know why. I, I don't care to know why, but YouTube hid this information from us. They didn't say anything about this in their video. They're not giving us any options to choose our content for a general audience. It's... Actually, to even answer that question, I think... Uh... Um, Ian Corzine's recent video about it It's called What YouTube's Not Telling You About Copa it, He actually yeah. does Kind of talk about it Of why YouTube doesn't say certain things Yeah So like don't quote I, yeah, me I on do it that. So, But he does say uh, yeah, more right on here. it He does say more about why YouTube doesn't say certain things Something about like yeah. Increase in sales or something I don't know I forget what it was called but... Yeah I think, that, I think that's why But again it's It's so stupid And YouTube's basically Hiding this information yeah. We, there are a lot of worries and a lot of drama could have been saved if YouTube had said, look, this is going to target kid-specific content, but it's your general audiences will be fine. That's that's what they should have done. And they should have an option that says, like, general audience, not just either for kids or not for kids. Yeah. And the reason we can't choose for kids is because if you choose for kids, if you choose your videos are for kids, it's dead. you're going to lose it's dead. comments. Now, that, your video is dead. Yeah, your channel is going to die. You're, it's literally going to die. You're going to lose comments. You're going to... Notifications won't go out. You can't put an end screen. You can't put cards. Nothing. You can't really advertise Zero. your videos. You can't have a community The video is dead. The video is um, dead. There's no even the, point to upload it. Your channel will essentially die. <laughs> and you'll lose... 90% of your ad revenue, you lose 90% of your revenue, basically. That's how bad choosing for kids is. So we all have to choose not for kids if we want to have a chance to have a career on YouTube. Exactly. But we risk being fined for $42,000 per video, <laughs> again, because the FTC might not realize, hey, our content's meant for a general audience, not just for kids. And I don't know about you, Gio, but I can't afford a lawyer right now, so... That uh, makes yeah. sense. And that's basically what YouTube told us. Hire a lawyer. Again, in their video, basically they said, you know, we don't know if your content is for kids or not. Hire a lawyer. That's all the information they gave us. Yeah. They didn't give us any information about the general audience thing or anything like that. If they gave us that information, that would have saved so much drama and that would have saved so much worry. And it's, YouTube's basically being jerks to their content creators again. What else is new? I know, right? <laughs> um, and I also heard, Gio, I don't know if you heard about this, but I also heard from a couple people, I don't know if, I don't know if this is confirmed, but 
apparently mature content now is going to be able to be monetized again. Certain mature content will be monetized really? again because, hey, you know, there's a little section for kids now. So now we don't have to worry so much about not swearing, for example. This is what I heard, and it's not from an official source, but I just remember seeing it on Twitter and thought it was funny. So it's, it's I thought it was worth bringing up that yeah. more mature content might be okay now. So like swearing might be okay now. We don't know, but <laughs> well, <laughs> definitely very interesting. Well, I guess I, definitely super interesting. I'm more accepted I, in the I world. <laughs> I'm more... I know, right? It's like you two, make up your mind. <laughs> Are we monetizable or not? Exactly. So I just thought it was funny to bring it up because, hey, you know... <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe I should start swearing about no, 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 no. I'm not. Doing if that's that. not no. you, don't do it. I'm, I'm joking. If ain't you. But you know, if if I want to post content without here without getting sued, you know, I don't know. That's actually jokes. kudos to you. I'm that would be absolute last case scenario on a problem before I started swearing in a bunch of my videos, just because I, that's not the lifestyle for me. No offense to anybody who does swear. 95% of the content I watch and 95% of the video of the people I hang around swear like a sailor. So Well, I'm offended. You're fine. I'm okay, offended. I have no problems with I'm you. Offended. But... <laughs> I'm offended. I'm offended. Of course you're offended, Gio. It's 2019, of course you're offended and everything. Jeez. <laughs> but anyways. Oh. So yeah, and actually I've been meaning to make a video about this, yeah. but because of all this information that's been released recently and just not gonna have there's time. just information that keeps coming out, I just don't have time to edit a video talking about this information. And I'm also worried about spreading misinformation, which again, which is why you should take this video with a grain of salt, but this is all information that we've gotten from official sources. Mm -hmm. So you, you definitely keep that in mind. But again, we we've done our own research, we've done everything we can, but you know, it's 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 a crappy situation, exactly. and I tried making a video on, it, didn't work out, so I'm not gonna be making this video. This is the video instead. So <laughs> yeah, I kind of did you tell. Know, you know what? Let's just talk about this in a podcast because you know what? I convinced podcast him. Works. I convinced I know, him. And I know this is all over the place, but hopefully you guys can keep up. And I hope the main goal of this is to raise awareness about yeah. Papa. The main goal is to just talk about this. Like, hey, this is a problem. We need to talk about this. Otherwise channels could get channels are gonna be dead and youtube could die channels could potentially yeah die. youtube could easily die with this law and again the way they're handling it is crappy the coppa law as it stands right now the requirements and all that that fall under coppa is crappy the whole situation is crappy right now so we need youtube to get a competitor <laughs> we need youtube to get a yes, competitor thank you Gio. hey if you're making any videos that you know for something like this let us know <laughs> I actually got, um, we need a YouTube I remember you checking this. out this site called Fruit Lab. It looks interesting. I haven't moved on it yet, but maybe I'll start uploading there. I don't know. Wait, what? See me link Did... Fruit Lab. There's this place called Fruit Lab where you can, like, start uploading videos. I don't think they have videos that are, like, 30 minutes long yet, but you never know. Three minute, <laughs> know. three minute episode one of the Sorted Shield. <laughs> three minute episode, yeah. You might be seeing three minute episode for me. I don't know, but... I don't, who knows? Maybe I'll move there next. I don't know. Oh my but, gosh. Also, I apologize. My nose is runny. But, yeah, this this Call of Coppa situation just sucks. Everything about it sucks. Hopefully, Hopefully our channels will still too. be around come January 2020. Because I would love to keep making content with Gio. Because he's just such an awesome yeah, dude. I love Probably with this guy. One of the best friends I've ever had in my lifetime. Not even kidding. <laughs> it's just, you know, I don't know if that's awesome or not because that tells you how many friends I have in real life. But <laughs> I mean, that is not. That's not bad. <laughs> Fun fact: Cat is actually a real life friend. Fun fact Fun for you fact. guys: um, I met Cat at an intensive in Chicago. So, shout out to you, Cat. Love you. Mwah. Just kidding. It's platonic love. Anyway. <laughs> platonic love? <laughs> Probably should specify it. Platonic. <laughs> it's platonic love. It's platonic love. You know, I love you like a bestie. Mm. Anyways, mm. get friend zone. <laughs> just kidding. I don't think she's interested in me that way. But regardless, that just took a really weird turn. Yeah. I am changing the subject immediately. Oh. Gio, you want to talk about Soul Link? I don't know. <laughs> Soul Link? It's... I think I think we talked enough about yeah. I think honestly we talked enough about combat. Exactly. I think we've gotten our point across. I think we've gotten everything we want to across. Exactly. Um, except we will be leaving links down below. We highly encourage you guys to Do your to check own it research. Out. Do your um, own research. Do your own, don't yeah, listen to our idiots. Do <laughs> yeah, don't listen to us being idiots, okay? The the dialogue is probably going to be me and Gio being idiots. Call talking about Kappa. That's probably what it's going to be. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but 
yeah, do your own research. Uh, yeah, we've linked a whole sure. bunch of videos down below. We've linked the couple website. We've linked the FTC uh, meeting thing that happened back in September. Uh, we're linking a whole bunch of information down there. And we're also, I'm also going to be linking, um, there's a change.org website, a petition to change the way the COPPA law is mm -hmm. currently. Highly encourage you guys to go sign it. I already have. And another place, again, yeah. this uh, place right here, um, where you can leave a comment talking about uh, being civil. Again, you need to be civil with your comments talking about, hey, this law isn't good. Here's why, basically. And uh yeah i think that's gonna be all the Bang. links down below if Bang. there is Bang. more links that i leave down below i'll leave a comment also i'm certain me and gio will do um update videos if we so desire exactly. you know we'll see i'll probably be another we'll, podcast we'll let's, let's be see real the recording oh geez 30, 35 minutes dang this is a short podcast but uh, yeah have a <coughs> i'm gonna die over here real fast don't mind me but anyways it's gonna so yeah, hopefully this COPPA situation won't be as bad as we have thought it would be in the past. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully it's not going to destroy YouTube. Hopefully we can keep making content for you guys. Cause, hopefully, again, hopefully Goki Gamer can finish about. his Sword and Shield, you know, live streams. Hopefully not going to Hopefully Geo can finish his Sword Let's Play on his channel, his Shady Lock that he blatantly copied from me because I'm <laughs> Shield Shady Lock. <laughs> You roast me, Gio, I roast back, okay? You, you, you tease me, I tease right back, okay? <laughs> At least he didn't get me on Luigi's Mansion. GSLP. At least he didn't get me on Luigi's Mansion. This is, okay, well, I can't afford that, Gio. I can't afford 60 bucks, okay? I'm sorry. Also, I saw Jacksepticeye play the game before you did. So. 42k. Huh. <laughs> 42k, heck yeah. But anyways. Ah! So, um... Yeah, do your own research. You guys get it. Links down in the description below. Check them out. And if we will, we might do update videos. We might not. We'll see. But uh, yeah. Bye. So Gio, let's let's see. Are we talking about anything else? Do you want to talk about Bye. um what? Is, how how about, do you want? How about this? Let's change the topic to something more fun. Okay, because mm -hmm. you know long podcasting to do well on my channel for some reason, and I want to. I want to. Are you serious? That, so. Really? <laughs> if, you're, if you're down, if you're down, I mean, we've only been talking for like 35 minutes. On my side, it's been 44. <laughs> we've only been 44. talking for 37 minutes and 33 seconds. On, on so, my side, it's been know. 44. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, okay, to be fair, you started recording like 10 minutes before I did. That's you know, saying. so, you know, yeah. So, um, what are your thoughts on Sword and Shield? Just for fun. Uh, so far, I, I've so only far. gotten to the point, I haven't even done raid battles. That's how bad, that's how bad I'm... <laughs> He's, okay, so he's gotten to the first gym, but he hasn't done any raid battles. So I've done raid battles. Motorstoke, mm -hmm. or however you say it. Motorstoke? Is that how you say it? Motorstoke. 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 Mo Mo Motorstoke. I don't know. <laughs> but is that where the first gym is by any chance? Do you know? Yeah, it is. I, I it stopped is? right okay, before cool. the gym. Okay, nice. So we're about in the same spot, actually. So how are you enjoying the game, Gio? So far, I like it, but it's just... I don't know if people have pointed out because I haven't been on Twitter much. Like, really, I haven't. Try not yeah, to get spoiled. Yeah, understandable. Yeah, not spoilers. But yeah. then apparently, um, some of the scenes, like the battle scenes and the rival scenes, they copied off. Let's go, like literally, let's go Pikachu scenes. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Most of the scenes I were copied. I haven't, I haven't noticed that, but then again, I don't notice details like that. Mm -hmm. But I will say, I think people gave this game way too much crap before it was released because it's a really good game, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it's not as as of right now. I don't. Is it their best game? In my opinion, no. But it's still a really good game, and I think people gave way too much crap about it in the beginning, showing like all these glitches and whatnot before the game even released. Actually, I don't stupid. know if it's true or not. That's a whole nother topic right there. But basically, I think it, the people gave this game way too much crap, and thankfully, I've been on Twitter. I haven't seen near as much negativity as there was before yeah. the game was released about the games. So that's really good. So I think. People like the toxic community has been is is quiet now. Thank goodness. For I that. think the reason because, because of that is because I think all the starters. I think I saw a picture somewhere that they said that the all the starters were released. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. Maybe that's why. All the wait, all the starters. I just saw. Whoa, 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 yeah, because yeah, I was just scrolling through Twitter a little bit, and then I saw something about um Chimchar. Well, if that's the case, my boy and Freddy's back. Yeah, no! I was, I was, that's insane. I I don't I doubt I doubt that. But that would be epic if it was. I know I saw something about some uh, like fans working on adding Pokemon back into the games. Like there was something about like Omastar being added. I, the Patters made a video on this a few weeks ago, mm. and it was talking about like how they were adding 
po- Pokemon into the games that weren't originally in the games, like Omasar was an example they used. Oh, jeez. But really? I don't know if it's an actual effort that's being pushed out or not. I don't know what's going on. And if it is, cool. If not, whatever. I don't care. In my in my opinion, on the whole this national deck situation, which is what started the entire toxic community, I think it's stupid. You know, people chill, <laughs> just chill, please. But um, and like in my opinion, it was bound to happen eventually. Exactly. So and it was just happened with this game. So I'm fine with it. You know, my favorite Pokemon is not gonna be in every single game. I'm fine with it. You know, it's fine. It gives me the chance to use other Pokemon that I might not have used before. That's my personal opinion. There are some that. crazy but, Pokemon again, that are just showing up. They, yeah, there are some crazy. There are some crazy Pokemon. I will say I that. The Pokemon I've centipede? seen so far are great. I love the raid battles. I love the raid battles. Yeah, I can't wait for you to do the raid battles. I love them. They are so much fun, and I absolutely am addicted to them. That is a fantastic feature that they added in the game. Is that why you've been live streaming for the past hour? My light just. My light's dying. There we go. Um, but uh, what is that? Why you were live streaming an hour of raid battles? Yeah, that's why I lost you an hour of raid battles. Well, it didn't start out that way. Uh huh. Yo, I'm addicted. <laughs> so I kept streaming raid battles. I just did that the entire live stream. Um, and also, nobody else was in the chat, so that was. That was a big goof. Yeah, I didn't want to go in there because I thought you were going to go fight the gym. I, I, I want Twitch. I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm lonely on Twitch, guys. Please. <laughs> please. Please be friends with me. I'm sorry. You should but see yeah, him. I really want to do raid battles. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> any friends? That's a big part of the reason why I haven't streamed since that live stream, because it's it, it's hard to stream when they, there's nobody else in the stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just the way. I'm it so is. discouraged, my man. It's so discouraged. I mean, yeah, you, get, you get discouraged when there's nobody in the in your entire nobody showed up. I'm not even kidding. And like I get it, people have lives, but wow, the entire hour nobody showed up. Yo, yo. I mean, to be I fair, have my reason. To be fair, I have my reason why I didn't show up. Yeah, I'm certain you have your reasons, Gio. Like, I'm not blaming you or anything. I, I to be fair, I think part of the title was weird. I think it was like, "Watch me play a great game" or whatever. It wasn't supposed to be that for some. For yeah, some it does it say that. that. Maybe that impacted that, it a lot. It, that might have been it, but still, yeah, it was depressing, and I wish somebody told me about it sooner. But you know, it's fixed now. It should be. Fixed. Wait, you didn't know I'll that? Again. No, I didn't know that until after the third stream. Oh, I, I noticed like, oh, that on the first one. That's why. I, that's why nobody showed up, probably. But you know, I noticed yeah. that on the first but, first live stream. But I thought he knew already. I thought it was like, oh, he's got a plan or something. He's got it no, all. No, I didn't know. Oops. That was in the first stream. I didn't even know yeah, that. Yeah, oh that was in the first stream. I swear. I thought you had it like, right, oh, well, anyways, I was like, okay, man, he's doing something well, new. Well, anyways, uh, he's doing something new. It should be updated now. It should be updated now. Go check out my Twitch. Link's in the description below, below all the other videos and stuff that I'm linking down. Wait, when you live stream, as a matter of fact, do you have like an audio latency with you, with, with hearing the game? Yeah, uh, I do hear my own voice. No, oh yeah, there you go. It's like, I can hear my own voice in my headset for some reason. I don't know. How. It, I didn't, that, but for yeah. some reason it started happening when I started streaming. Shield, and I don't know why, so I have to look into that and fix that. The soonest I'll be able to live stream is probably Wednesday because I'm going on a camping trip after this, which I have to prep for. Um, Actually, yeah, so, that's the only main reason. Be gone until why. like Wednesday afternoon, so I probably won't stream again until like Wednesday. But I do really want to get back into playing the game because it's a game I really, it's a game I enjoy playing. If you guys haven't picked it up, I encourage you guys to check it out. Again, is it their best game so far? So far, I haven't completed the game yet, but so far, in my opinion, no, it's not the greatest game they've ever created. But I still think it's a really good game, and I still think it's very much worth checking it out. Yeah. The graphics are amazing. The Pokemon are even better. It's it's a great game. Check it out, and check it out. Just check it out for yourself. I still want to so see I'm what Rapidash is. is what Rapidash is typing is. Do you know? I'm so excited. I think I think I've been spoiled. Do you know what but... it is? What's the typing? I think actually I'm not sure. I can't remember if it was a clickbaity title or not. Uh-huh. But um you know what Glarian Pony Toss is, yeah. right? Psychic. Like, okay. Again, no spoilers down in the comment section below. But I did hear uh-huh. in a thumbnail, so it might not be confirmed, but it, it was like in a thumbnail, it was like Glarian Rabbit Ash was like psychic and fairy. I could be wrong though. So, I could see it being psychic but, and fairy. But I could I, also I, I see it psychic there, and there was that mini <laughs> Really? Flying? Why flying? I don't know. I just feel like I could see I That'd could see Rapidash flying. I don't know. I don't yeah. know if it's true. I feel like people would be massively triggered if You know what? Actually, since I'm not psychic instead of since, three, so. You know what? <laughs> there's a mini there's this whole mini outrage on Twitter being like, Oh my gosh, Valerian Body throws the fairy type inside. Since, type. I, the case? since no. I don't have sword, I mean shield, I will never know 
what Galarian Rapidash. Well, I'll trade it to you, Gio. We can trade Pokemon, you silly. Oh my kids. god, Galarian That's Rapidash! Why we got Whoa, who created that? I just boiled myself. Good job, Gio. I'm, <laughs> who would have hey. thought? Looking up, who would have thought? Looking up, and Rapidash would spoil you on how it looks like. Jeez. Wow. Well, I don't have Mark, this. I, I don't have the shield case, so. though. <laughs> uh, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, true that. Well, okay, Gio. I'll trade it. To you. I'll trade you a Galarian Ponyta if you trade me a Surfetched. A Surfetched? What is Surfetched typing? I forgot. Normal. I think it's fighting. I think it's fighting. <sighs> Garbage. I mean, what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> By the way, Galarian Rapid Ash is like you can very confirmed. Yeah, I I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm already I'm already signed up for a league that I'll be doing once I think like in January or something like that. Um, with the um, Generation Eight games, I am so stoked. I cannot wait to get into the competitive with Generation Eight. I am so freaking excited. Be looking forward to some more draft league stuff coming from me at the start of the year, as long as Coppa doesn't take down my channel. Um, yeah, actually, but I'm really looking as a matter of fact, I don't know if I actually got in too. <laughs> I, I I remember <laughs> tweeting tweeting Ooh. at it, but I never actually followed with it. <laughs> yeah. Did you get like a Ooh. message or something? That's been Let's see here. Um, I did. Uh, I'm there. There's a DM. There's a like a stuff right now. I think. Oof. Um. Let's see here. It. Wait. What league are you talking about again? Oh, uh, the one that you. You. I think you, you replied to, and I said, "Oh, I'm down to join." Oh, was it from like slight? Oh, it was like from slightly salted. Yeah. Was that the Twitter? In yeah. Okay. Yeah. I did get into that league. All right. Um. There's a DM. It's the International Battle Association or something like that. I can't I remember. I think what so. It's called. But, um, but if anything, I'll just try to find. Yeah, I got leaks. in. I don't think you got in, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Gio. Yikes. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. Wait, let me see here. Can it show me who's in the group? No. Okay. That is a big group. Wait, group information. Okay, let's see here. Members. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, you're not in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> rip. 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 But then again, no! I did rip. Well, to me huh? <laughs> to be fair, it's probably a big a part of the reason is probably because um, I've actually had draft battle experience before and you haven't, so because I did the SSL and you didn't, so oh. that's probably part of the reason why. Yeah, but yeah, I love doing draft league battles. I cannot wait to get the Generation Eight. Draft actually, as a matter so of so fact, there are a couple of YouTube videos. I think there was one out there that I did do like multiple draft leagues right when um, I think it was um, Auras came out. It was either Auras or X and Y. Yeah. Dude, I I would get uh, there is this. There was this guy who would literally predict every move of yours. It was just insane. I got yeah. It went so bad. Yeah. I think I got swept by a pelican. That's how Medivac was for me, dude. That guy is. Uh, you know how crazy yeah. it is. I got swept by a pelican. Okay, that's not that crazy, actually. People hate Pelipper, so... And that's why, because people can get swept by Pelipper because it's an annoying Pokemon. But, you know, I can understand. And then I wonder... I mean, I personally like Pelipper, but I would not use it because I don't know how to use him. Was it, like, a Drizzle set? Yeah, it was a Drizzle set. I didn't even know about his new yeah. ability, though. I didn't know about, um... I think yeah. it was Drizzle or something. No, I just saw! Dude, that's... I just saw... Ooh. Uh, Gio, stop looking up information! Stop spoiling yourself! I, I saw, uh, what's it called, like, Grookies, I mean, not Grookies, um, Sobel Sign of Illusion oh, as think... a Shiny. I think I did. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen the Shinies, but I think I've been spoiled on the final level. But I haven't, spo I haven't been spoiled on specific details, and I still don't I still don't know what the middle evolution looks like, but I have been spoiled on, like, Grookies' final evolution. And I'm like, well, I, I didn't pay too much attention to it, but I did see, like, an outline of it. Oh. No, like, what it kind of-ish looks like. And it looks really cool, so I'm really excited to see it in the game. But I'm sad that it's been slightly DK. Scared, but... Do, DK. 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 Yeah, that's his evolution. Yes. DK. He evolves into D Donkey Kong. He evolves into Donkey Kong. Literally. Literally. <laughs> he evolves from Rookie into DD Kong into Donkey Literally. Kong. Literally. Exactly. Literally. Exactly. Yeah. I think Rookie's going to grow into one of my favorite. I think, I legitimately think Rookie's going to grow into my one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm not even kidding. I have a special bond with that freaking monkey. Now I'm just, now I'm just wondering if Inteleon is going to be a, a big competitor for Greninja. Like, both of them being Wait, in the who? same area. No, I'm just thinking, just by the, the slim design. Wait, just by the slim designs that they both have. Wait, who are you talking about? I'm talking about Sobo's Final Evolution Inteleon. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah. just, That'd be interesting. That'd be. I mean, probably not. I don't know. I don't. I don't think people are going to be too keen on Sobble's final evolution. I think if anything, like, okay, I have been spoiled on um, 
Score Bunny's final evolution. I think people are going to go to that. Score Bunny is or cool. Grookey's. Score Bunny's final both evolution. Both Grookey's, both Score Bunny's and Grookey's final evolutions will look really cool. Score Bunny, uh, uh, you actually again, seen I, it? I've been spoiled, unfortunately. Yes, but it does look really. I'm cool. getting like meow stick vibes from it. Meow stick face facial features. Yeah. I'm getting, I get Blaziken vibes from it. Really? <laughs> it looks like a lot like Blaziken. <laughs> it's body design. You cannot look at that body design and not remind you of Blaziken. <laughs> it reminds me of so many and It's things. very obvious why I didn't make it firefighting, but it's just that fire. looks more firefighting than freaking Incineroar dies. <laughs> uh, but anyways. It's fire dark. Hey, whoa. We can't complain that much. Oh, whoa, what? Huh? What? <laughs> yeah, but, um. Actually, as a Apparently, matter of they fact, they get special moves as well. What is the core? They get special animation for their moves, which is really cool. Like I think um, Pyro Ball is what Score Bunny's final evolution has, and it looks really cool. It's like him juggling like a soccer ball thing. I think I can't remember specifically, but it looks really cool. Actually, you know so, what? I forgot to see episode two of the Sword and Shield anime. Man, I need to see that ASAP. Oh shoot! I need to see episode one. I just <laughs> noticed it's Sunday. <laughs> I'm behind. I just noticed it's Sunday. <laughs> Oh shoot, you're right. Thanks. Oh my so gosh. episode two should have already been released. If not already. Dang. Nice. Yeah, I should probably check it that out. That anime is um, so cool. Anime. If you guys do not That's awesome. I know Goku, you don't want to get spoiled, but episode one is such an emotional episode. Yeah. Oh gosh. It's so emotional. <laughs> oh god. It's like Oh gosh, Gio. Did you cry, Gio? Oh, I I, I almost <laughs> I almost cried a little. I almost cried a little. Oh, that's just cute. just the fact on how Pichu evolves is just touching and sweet. You yeah, would never expect uh, that would happen. You you would never expect yeah. that to happen. Let alone yeah. a Mew. Sure, <laughs> Show, you know, yeah. the first episode. Let alone Mew, Show. Sure. <laughs> um but uh yeah. So, I guess to wrap things, so that's our opinions on Pokemon. Sword and Shield, and a little bit of anime uh, and Copa. There's a yeah. lot in this. Lot in um, this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we talk a lot. But yeah, that's our opinion on Sword and Shield. I think both of us kind of have a similar opinion where it's like, it's a really good game, but so far it's not among our favorites. Exactly. I think that's pretty much, yeah. And to be fair, again, just, you know, the Toxic community just kind of got to me a little bit too much, probably. And like, I'm not Toxic about the game at all. Like, I went into the game as blind, and I went into the game being like, I think this is going to be a great game. But, you know, it's it's a good game. It's I am slightly underwhelmed with with it right now, but I think it's going to get better. I hope it's going to get better. The only thing the yeah. only thing that's hilarious is that when people say I'm not going to buy the game, it's just trash, yeah. and they still buy it anyways. It's yeah. like what? Make yeah. up your mind. <laughs> make up your mind. Either yeah. buy it or not. I don't know. People are people are people are stupid. People on this planet are stupid. They always so, do the opposite. I I, I, I mean. It's, yeah. Now, um, look at Goki. He's saying he wasn't gonna get uh, it, and he got it either way. I I'm just joking. When did I say? I'm that? joking. You're the one. Who, I'm okay, joking. you know what, Gio? You're you're gonna fake call me out. I'm gonna actually waiting on getting the game or not. Okay, <laughs> you keep your mouth shut. I knew I was gonna get the game. It was just a matter of time. Jeez. Okay. Anyway, but um, I think one more thing. Uh, what about Soul Link? <laughs> Oh, so man. like we we honestly we haven't really talked about that much so we should probably start talking about it. because again i love working with this man. it all depends I on copa at the end of the day man it all depends at the yeah, end yeah it all the depends day. on what copa. so it w whenever we release a solo versus again it's going to be after the copa situation goes out it's, it's going to be if the copa situation is like not as bad as we hope I, if it's as good as we hope it's going to be and it's not going to be targeting everybody then we're going to do something versus sometime probably in January, February. We're probably going to start working on it, just kind of getting it ready, you know, because <laughs> I love working with As long as Gio's okay with it, because I freaking love working with this man. As long as freaking awesome. As long as we keep it consistent this time around. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it consistent. I mean, to be fair, um, I, I guess, like, no, like, what I've been doing with my videos, I, I think that's fair. So, you know, what I've been doing with my videos, Gio. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think that was a big reason why I took intros, technical difficulties. But now that we've actually done, okay, I see you with that. I see you with that. I see you doing that. But it's, I think now that we've kind of worked through our technical difficulties, we've done, like, we've done all that. We've learned what we need to do different. Geo, can you stop that? That's distracting me. <laughs> um, I think we'll be a lot more consistent with the next time we do it. And I'm super stoked about it. And I'm super excited. 
and Geodan just looks weird. Stop that! But yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait to work with this man again. And we've actually got another series that's going to be coming out soon, if it's not out already. I don't know exactly what my videos are going to be. Um, I'm not spoiling it, Geo. I'm just saying it's going to be out soon, at least on my channel. It, it's going to be between Monday and Wednesday. I don't know when this is going up. If it's going up Monday, it'll probably be going up Wednesday or Tuesday. Just know um, it's so going to be an amazing series. My Black will be going up soon. Um, just know it's... Hashtag shameless plug. I still need to make the thumbnail for that. But it's, um, yeah, go check check out all that fun stuff. Um, you know, yeah. Go check out this amazing dude. He is amazing at making content. Even though he hasn't uploaded black and white episodes, just saying. Um, <laughs> Gio, that's because I've been working freaking cop of video scratch, okay? I'm sorry that I'm one man! <laughs> oh man, I was With waiting for some on the more, side, okay? some black and I'm white. I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying! I'm trying to see more of myself in the video, you know? More a self. Yeah, yeah. As I see what you did, I see what you did there. <laughs> I, I see what you did there, you freaking freak. <laughs> I didn't see my- but also, Go check out this man Gio over here, even though he has enough hey. either. Yeah, I'm still waiting on that Luigi Mansion video, Gio. I'm still waiting on that. Come on. Um, Jeez, school, man. homework, I, I, <laughs> excuses. Say it's for me, okay? You call me out, I call you out. That's how. That's just how the works, business Gio. is done. That's how this relationship works. God damn he it. writes me out, I write him out. That's just as simple as it goes. Exactly. Well, no, it turns it, 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 most of the time. Every single time you call me out, then I called you out and responds. Okay, you keep your mouth shut. Yes. You keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I just made you deaf. You made me deaf. Uh, I made you deaf. I make everybody who watches my content That is a big deaf. oof. I got a message on my phone. Let me make sure it's not an emergency. It is not an emergency. Rah! Wait! I'm going camping! I'm going to be vlogging that camping trip, so be on the lookout for that. Hashtag Shames Plug. Be sure to check out my Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. Links down in my description below. And be sure to check out this man over here. This beautiful, sexy hunk of chunky meat. The Look at Gio. this guy. I know. So be sure to check him out. Yeah, check out his Twitter. Check out, check out um, his Twitch. His check his out his Discord Twitch. Go check out. His dead Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Check out Gio's dead Twitch. When was the last time you there, Gio? Huh? You know, you know, you know I find it kind of awkward hearing yourself. You know, it's a little awkward. It's a little awkward. It's, this is true. Actually, it's, this is true, G. It's awkward was, when you're talking and then you hear yourself two seconds after. You hear yourself like a second later. Yeah, it's, it's weird. weird. Yeah, I need to fix that because I remember it wasn't a problem for me before, but yeah. I, I need to fix it. I need to play around with it to make sure it actually doesn't keep doing that because I remember I had it um before where it didn't do that. Mm -hmm. So I need to figure that, that out. That is a but, very strange thing. Regardless. Okay, I think I think, I think that's enough. Can, and I think I think I think we've made, yeah I think that's all right. Enough. I think we're good. Yeah. Let's end this episode. Hours, let's so. end, let's I think we're good. end this okay. jokey podcast here. Let's end the podcast. Oh my gosh. Okay, yo, Gio, do you want to make this a weekly thing? Because honestly, this is, this is views on my channel. I'm just saying, people love us being idiots. You so. see, this guy is this using be, me. This could be he's using, using me. Views. He's using. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I, I have fun doing this. I literally have fun. Yeah, doing no, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally have fun. Okay, to be fair, I think you get views on your channel too. So. Check okay, guys. Get this man to 100 subscribers before the end of the year. It, if it doesn't happen, I'm going to riot. Okay, get this man. I want you all to go over to Geo's channel and subscribe if you haven't already because this man is freaking amazing. Go watch his content, go watch his Luigi's Mansion series, go watch his Pokemon uh Fire Red Chess Lock series because it's freaking awesome. And I died in it in like the freaking second episode, Geo. Hey, hey, and you saved the Nuzlocke. Sure you saved the Nuzlocke, to be fair. You saved the Nuzlocke. Let's be honest. Yeah, but I died. You died, I but died. you saved the Nuzlocke. I, I mean, to be fair, I've let you die before too. But to be fair, but you were, but to be you fair, you were a beauty fly that could revive me. That's what's funny. You're and you could have had Volt Absorb. So technically, I still love that. That's so ironic in that series because I, for those of you who haven't seen my last episode of my last two episodes of my Sapphire series, spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. But it, I named a beauty fly after Geo because Soling versus reference, and. Um, he died to a mining with thunder. Later on in the next episode, I fight the Elite Four member who has a beauty fly that has Volt Absorb! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So if my beauty fly had both absorbed, oh, Geo yeah. wouldn't have died. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Ah! Oh well. I still, I still get mad about that. There. Stay on. My light's dying. I need to get in. My camera's dying. Stay, Stay on. Okay, I think I think this is the last. I think that's a sign. Life. I think that's a sign. Okay, I think that's all a right, sign. All right, all right. Okay, right, thank you guys so much for watching. Go check go out check Geo's out channel Doki Gamer. Go check him out. Get this, get this man to a hundred subscribers. Or Goki will go bald. Here, otherwise, I'm going to riot. <laughs> okay, anyway. Goki will go I'm bald. Sorry, bald. Hashtag Goki bald. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag raging Goki. <laughs> Hash, I, I, I just need to, eventually, one Halloween, I'm just going to paint myself green and act like the Hulk. It's going to happen one day. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to look subscribe forward to that video. Too. Be sure to subscribe. Check out my Pokemon Black series. Check out Gia's Check Fire out Red Gio's Black series. At, wait, did I just call myself with the third person? I don't know. Oh, well, whatever. Check out Probably. Goki's and my content. <laughs> Check you out won't be shield, disappointed! Wait, check out our Sword and Shield Shady Locks. Check out everything else we're doing. Be on the lookout for a camping vlog that's going to be coming out soon because I'm currently camping out in the wilderness right now. I'm probably dying of hypothermia. And I'll see how I do! Peace out! In the next video! Or the next podcast! In the next podcast! Peace out, mates! Woo!